I'm Mayor John Hamilton. And I'm Don Griffin, Deputy Mayor for the City of Bloomington. And today we're going to talk to you. We're going to talk to you about updates on our new upcoming utilities project that will identify active lead water service lines in our distribution system. That's a mouthful. It is. It's, it was, <laughs> it's a big deal. It is a big I, deal. I know people care about lead uh, lines. A lot of us, of course, were incredibly uh, concerned about what we heard in Flint, Michigan, almost 10 years ago now. Um, and lead, there are a lot of lead water lines mm -hmm. all over the country. And we are starting a project in Bloomington to find every lead service line. That's the line that goes from the city's piece of the pipe into your house. And we're starting a process to find all of those lead service lines over the next year or two. I'm sure those that are watching are wondering what happens uh, when the utilities folks uh, enter their property. Well, it's not too big a deal. You actually don't have to be home. Doesn't sure. cost you anything. Won't interrupt your water service. What happens is uh, the utilities has a fancy new truck that they bought uh, with some of the federal money that will dig a hole, two holes on either side of your meter, and we can check exactly what kind of water line you have. Uh, and before they leave, they'll fill the hole in, they'll put some straw and grass or put it, reseed the thing back. So this is, this is a way to make sure we know all through the city of Bloomington where every single lead line is. Okay, is this a big hole? Or? <laughs> I think it's about 12 or dinner plate, maybe a little bigger size, okay. and then hopefully you won't notice it when they're gone. Okay, fantastic. There are a couple pretty important things. One, just because you have a lead service line doesn't mean you have lead in the water in your home. In fact, you typically don't because our utility department works really hard to put the right pH okay. so that it scales up on a lead line and that you don't get any leaching. So what we do know though is there's a lot of federal money coming that will help us, I think, replace every one of those lines. That's, a, that's an expensive thing to do. And typically homeowners are responsible, but we're hoping to get federal money for that. Um, and the only other thing I'd mention is if you are concerned, if anybody's concerned about lead in your water, there's a free program through the water utility department that will test your water for you. You, you. you have a kit and you can get it out of your tap and get the water tested just to be sure that you don't have water actually, that your water doesn't have lead in it. So I'm sure folks out there are wondering, they go out there, they test the pipes and they find lead. What next? Well again, uh, we have extremely safe water in the, in the water system. We just put out our annual report that showed we meet all the federal guidelines. And just because you have a lead service line, a lot of us have lead service lines, but they don't cause lead leaching into the water itself. But we want to be sure. Uh, and if you're worried about it, you can get your water tested. Just contact the City of Bloomington Utilities. Thanks again, Mayor. Now, if you want more information, there are many more details available and frequently asked questions on the City's website. We encourage you to check it out. And as always, thank you for tuning in. Take care.